Hello everyone. How are you? Today I am going to teach you the third poem of Flamingo book Keeping Quiet written by Pablo Neruda. Over here Pablo Neruda wants to tell you the importance of meditation and how to do that meditation and what are the advantages of meditation. When we do meditation we introspect, we do soliloquy, we reflect and redeem our activities. So if speech is silver, silence is golden. The poem starts with a full circle. You know the poem starts with a full circle means that it starts with a meditation and it ends with a meditation. The poem has lot of alliteration. What is alliteration? Alliteration is a figure of speech when the stress is on the consonant syllable. Now over here in between I will be telling you all the alliterations used by the poet. If speech is silver, silence is golden. I already elaborated the meaning of it. Now we will count to 12. Now the poet has taken 1 to 12 number. Why? Because we have 12 months and on the face of the watch or a clock we have 1 to 12 numbers only. The poet is trying to teach you how to do meditate. Just close your eyes, count from 1 to 12 and you will be quiet and you will not be talking. You will not be speaking in any language. And when you will not be speaking any language, your mind will be calm and composed. And when you are calm and composed, you will be able to think better. And when you are able to think better, you will be able to redeem your acts. At times, we act without giving a thought. Now we will count to 12. Will count is alliteration. We will. We will is alliteration. And we will all keep still. For once on the face of the earth, let's not speak in any language. Let's stop for a second and now move our arms so much. And not move our arms so much. In the first stanza, the poet illustrates that we should be quiet, we should meditate and how to meditate and when we are not speaking, we are not speaking any language and over here it doesn't mean literally moving your arms, it means no action is there. It would be an exotic moment, exotic is blissful feeling. That moment is going to be very blissful, very beautiful, without rush, without engines. We would all be together in a certain strangeness. Underline we would, it is alliteration. Underline sudden strangeness, again alliteration. So it says that we all will be in a sudden phase of time. Fishermen in the cold sea would not harm whales. As we all know, the whales are on the verge of extinction. So when we are introspecting, we will be realizing our deeds which are not appropriate. So we will stop killing the whales. And the men gathering salt would look at his hurt hands. Hurt hands is again an example of alliteration. H, H sound is repeated. The consonant sound is repeated here. So even the fisherman who is working in this saline water will look at his hands which are hurt because of the excessive salt in the water. Those who prepare green wards, wards with gas, wards with fire, victory with no survivors. Now over here the poet want to say that we are going to have such kind of war where no survivor is going to be there. The person who is going to be victorious or the person who vanquish, nobody is going to survive. When children, nobody is going to survive. What is the point of having that kind of war? When the victorious is also not going to be alive on this mortal earth to enjoy, then why do we need to have such kind of wars? Would put on clean clothes. Clean clothes is again 
example of alliteration the sound of k k clean clothes and walk about with the brothers in the shade doing nothing now he wants that scientists should move across and they should spread the message of universal brotherhood that we are the children of one father we should not think ourselves disintegratedly but we should think ourselves in a one integration now the poet says that we should not confuse with one thing i do not want that you should become saints i do not want that you should become hermits life is not that we have to be meditating every time he simply says that we should introspect reflect and redeem our activities what i want should not be confused with total inactivity life is what it is about i want no prakrit death life is what it is about i want no prakrit death i do not want any association with death i do not want that you should become saint i do not want that for 24 hours into seven you should meditate simply reflect and redeem think and change your beads if we were not so single minded why do we fight because somewhere we are single minded we are selfish we are self centered we just think about ourselves we do not think about others moving and for once could do nothing perhaps a huge silence might interrupt the sadness of never understanding ourselves over here he says that probably we have never asked ourselves what do we want we try to follow the rat race we are like sheep who just follow the uh, uh, the person who never thinks what he wants but follow others if we were not so single minded about keeping our lives moving and for once could do nothing could do nothing meditate here perhaps a huge silence when we are quiet when we are introspecting when we are doing solo loki might in, might interrupt the sadness of never understanding ourselves we have never tried to understand ourselves ki what do we want in our lives and threatening ourselves with death and we have been threatening ourselves with death we have not thought what we want in our life perhaps the earth can teach us Now, children, when we see Earth, we feel that it is calm, composed. But inside, a lot of action is going on. Sometimes there is tsunami. Sometimes uh, volcanoes, tornadoes. These kind of activities interrupt in between. But on the larger end, we feel that Earth is very calm and composed. In the same way, when we meditate, we feel that the person is very calm. but inside lot of thinking is going on L lot of directional things are going in his mind everything seems dead and later proves to be alive the example i have given already that earth seems to be calm composed but how does it come to life when we see there there is some tsunami or tornadoes volcanoes such eruptions are there then we come to know ki that something is going deep down the earth now i will count up to 12 and you keep quiet and i will go as i told you earlier that the poem comes into a full circle as it starts from the meditation and it ends with meditation the poet wants to teach you that we have to introspect we have to ask ourselves that what do we want in our lives we should not follow the crowd we should not follow others what others are doing we should do what we want to do and the poet over here advocates that i don't want that you should become hermits or saints i don't want that you should put a halt to your life but just introspect think and redirect your lives and do the lives the way you want i hope you have understood the poem keeping quiet and if you have any problem you can join my class on google classroom